In our Flutter Flame game, the girl has gravity and Y velocity. If she, however, if she goes through the ground on the side, she's going to pass right through it. What we need to do is iterate through the intersection points and look for a intersection where the intersection is on the side. In the flame game system, you'll get a intersection set when the collision occurs. So using the on collision method within the flame game system, you can iterate through it and check to see what the coordinates are when the girl intersects. The bottom of the girl is at a Y coordinate of 670. This is the same coordinate as the top of the grass that her skateboard is on. If she collides to the right, the intersection point will be at 612. By checking to see whether the intersection point on the Y axis is close to the bottom of the girl's skateboard, you can determine whether it's a side collision or not. Let's go into the on collision method of Lino. At the time of collision, we'll look to see whether she's moving horizontally. So horizontal movement can be detected by checking to see if the velocity dot x is not equal to zero, which means she's either moving to the left or the right. We can then iterate through the intersection points. The intersection points have been passed to the on collision method by the flame game system. This var point is a variable that we made up. We're going to check to see if the y, so y is the bottom of the girl's skateboard, is greater than the second intersection point. So the first one is x and the second one is y. So we're comparing the two y coordinates of the intersection point and the girl. I'm using this minus 5 because sometimes she sinks into the grass a bit. Let's check it out. And she's not stopping. She's not stopping because the, uh, the bottom portion of the uh, anchor point is uh, not, she, it's not showing that she's colliding with the bottom effectively. Let's try it again. If we set the anchor point to the bottom center, okay, she is stopping but she looks like she's stuck. Okay, so let's try to fix that. When I tap on the right side of the mobile app screen, I'm gonna push her away uh, five pixels so that she's, if she's hitting from the, the left edge, she'll just be bounced off. And eventually I'm going to need to check to see whether she collided on the left or the right. But for now, let's just try to get her unstuck off of the, hor the side platform. So we'll push her. Um, if she's trying to go to the right, we're, out, we're just going to start by pushing her five pixels over and see whether this helps or not. So we'll do it for both the left and the right. We'll test it. Okay, she kind of drops down. She gets a little stuck, but uh, let's see what happens. She's still kind of stuck on the, she's stuck when she's jumping, but it, it is stopping her. So the gameplay is getting a little bit better. We now need to check to see at the collision when she's in the air. In the next video, 
will have another algorithm to check to see when the collision takes place, if she's off the ground, and how close to the uh, edge of the, um, the, the horizontal or the side of the platform she is. If you notice that when she's stuck, the intersection points of the X coordinates are very close together. So there may be, you know, she's stuck because she's only in the, uh, the platform to the side about one pixel. So we're gonna check to see how close the intersection points are. And you know, she's not Spider-Man, so if, it's, if she's just right against it, she's gonna drop down and gravity will kick in. So we'll cover all that and more in the next video. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course if this is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.